Hello viewers, welcome back. This is the part 7 of how to model a cartoon character using Autodesk Maya. In the previous video, we worked with the uh, with the leg of the character and now we need the shoe of the character and the hand part of the character. So for this shoe part, I am I have downloaded this reference image of the shoe of front and the uh, side view and we will use this uh, reference image to make the shoe of the character so let's get started I am in the front view now and make sure your reference image is lined up the front and the side view is lined up properly and they are not exactly lined up but i think this reference image is good enough to work with so i'll go to the side view first and start working from there so here i'll take a <coughs> polygon cube and let's go to the input of the polycube and make its subdivision width height and the depth to 333 3, 3. or maybe we can see, make it 6 okay first we'll work with 3 then we'll gradually add so subdivision of 4 Of width height and the depth now <clears throat> go to the side view and then increase the height width and depth first we'll increase the depth of this polycube so that it matches as closely as uh, with the reference image so it is 4.5 now I do not need to need 4 and let's check from the <coughs> prospective view okay I think it's it looks good so far now let's go to the front view and first line up this image put it in the middle okay now let's change the width of this polycube and it looks good so far now select these two faces face from here and here so i go to the top view and i will select these four select these four vertex uh, four uh, faces and go to the side view again and i'm going to extrude it up to this point a little bit more up to this point now check the front view here you can see this is our uh, our front and side reference image are not exactly the same but it's all right it's very hard to find exact reference image so we can guess and work in that way now let's go to the side view and match them so i'm moving it backwards okay before doing this here you can see it is a big face this face is pretty big so 
what we can do we can insert age loop in here so I'm inserting one age split in here and one in here and another one in here now go to the side view and here we can also insert one age in here and another one in here so now move them move the vertexes and the age vertexes so that it matches with the reference image as closely as possible so I'm moving it here and this one a little bit backwards Okay, and this one a little bit now move them so I'm trying to match with the reference image as close as possible so I'm bringing them forward and uh, moving them forward and backwards okay now here you can see these faces are also very big and so we are we are going to insert h loop in here so one h loop in here and another one in here now select this vertex and try to make the shape of the shoe move this one uh, backwards a little bit this one a little bit downwards and so on okay now move this vertex and this one also so here you can see this is the sole of the shoe and we'll uh, design this part later that's why what we can do is we can delete these lower faces so I'm going to select these faces and I'm going to delete this now line them this uh, vertexes So I'm moving them backwards and like this. here you can see this uh, face are pretty big in size that's why we are going to insert edge loop in here so i'm going to insert one edge loop 
one edge loop in here and another edge loop in here and now line them up with the reference image Okay, line them up uh, this with this one. And here you can see another big face. Uh, we can insert another edge loop in here to modify uh, this shoe much better. So we can carve uh, with the reference image more, much better. Here you, uh, we are going to insert another edge loop. Okay, another edge loop in here and select this vertex and match them according to the reference image. Okay. And here we need another edge loop. So I'm selecting this edge and press the control and insert ring split. Select these two vertices and move them so that they line up with the reference image <clears throat> okay now mm, select these two vertex and match them and we can also insert another edge uh, in here then match them and this one move them upwards okay now select this edge and insert another split edge then select this vertex and move them okay so from the side view now the shoe looks good we have to tweak a little bit more like here we'll move them a little bit backwards so that it matches with the shape much better move this one a bit forward and this one also a little bit forward okay now you can see from the side view it's uh, like a shoe shape now we have to modify it from the front view now now let's close this up first so i'm making bridges between these two edges and then I will connect them together okay now here you can see we have one two three three edges so i'm selecting this and press the control and split it first 
split this face oh, sorry not here split this then again split this okay and now connect them select this vertex turn off the symmetry option and connect and connect okay I have to undo first okay now select this two now march and this two and march and this two and march and this two and march for some reason here you can see this error so that's why i'm deleting this face and then reconnecting them and that way we can fix this i think this is a bug in maya okay first fix them then delete the history i think it will fix this problem yes okay i'm selecting this polygon and edit delete by type and history now let's see okay this bug is not fixed in the front side so i'm also deleting these two then again connecting these two these two and connect these two and select this face and this face and delete and do the same okay now it looks good and the bug is fixed okay we lost two faces in the bag maybe we selected them unintentionally that's why i'm closing it okay okay good so far now <coughs> we will since our side view is looks good we will work with the front view from the front view and i think the video is getting lengthier and that's why i'm stopping this video in here and we'll work with the rest of the shoe part in the next video so see you in there goodbye